Tomorrow, Brian Koberger, the man accused of killing four University of Idaho students inside an off-campus home, is expected in court. CBS's Don Bacchus has the latest. Murder suspect Brian Koberger will be back in an Idaho courtroom to be arraigned for the stabbing deaths of University of Idaho students Madison Mojin, Zana Kernodal, Ethan Chapin, and Kaylee Gonzalez, whose parents will be there. He's going to know that we are the Gonzalez family, and he knows, you know, what he did to our daughter, and he's going to feel all of us just staring at the back of his head because he won't even turn around. A grand jury indicted the 28-year-old criminology graduate student on four counts of first-degree murder and one count of felony burglary. What do we expect to happen tomorrow? Tomorrow, I think what we would expect is that during the arraignment, the charges will be read and he will enter a plea. We expect that that will be a not guilty plea. Prosecutors allege Koberger committed the quadruple murder at a house in Moscow, Idaho, November 13th. More than six weeks later in Pennsylvania, he was arrested at his family's home. We know that he was arrested based on cell phone data, based on the make and model of his car, and based very importantly on finding his DNA on a knife sheath that was found at the scene. The prosecution already, I think, has a number of pieces of really strong evidence here. The defense, I think, at this point will say, why would he do this? What was the motive? There is no knife that was found. Levinson doesn't believe Koberger will be offered a plea deal and says it could be up to six months or even longer before the case goes to trial. Major? Tanya Bacchus, we thank you.